Good morning and welcome back or welcome to the channel. And this time we are heading for Eurotunnel. We're going across underneath all the way into France. Let's hope we get there. Paperwork's done, dogs will be okay. Let's see. So we're in the passenger traffic lane. Keep right. And here must be the first check-in point. Oh, we've got a lot of raffles, we didn't pack it very well before. Oh, that's the freight stop, not ours. Past the freight terminal and ooh, passenger traffic, 300 metres ahead. Right, I need to go and get all my documents out. This is where you pick up your little hanger. Let's keep cool. That's what it says over there on the screen. And you need the lit. To take departure letter hanger, look out for, and I missed it. <laughs> and there, the yellow big sign says pet receptions heading that way. So that's where we have to head. So that's pet reception. I think we went the wrong way. Should have been in the large coach car park, but I don't know where that is. So the nice man let us park here. All checked in with the pets. We're going to France, girls. Now it's for the humans to check in. Here we go. So I've gone through passport control, stopped off just behind us there to check out the gas. Jump out then. So now we have to go through, through this. Because they're not going to let me onto the left hand booth, are they? No. Well, I'll have to jump out then, will I? Just, just queuing now at the passport control place. And then straight ahead in the distance, you can see the large lanes for motorhomes. Yay, humans are through. We're now heading towards the train. We're in the high, in the large lane. Our hanger there displayed. And oh, oh hold on, we've got a vehicle check. He literally just tells you which lane to go in. So we're in number 12. Friends, look, they're there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How did we do that? Don't know. Oh, we're probably stuck here now forever. Or has he decided he's sticking to the 20 past 8 train? Because no. we've gone for the early train. We've gone for the early train. Like, we, no, we, we beat them because we got up early because we didn't know how long it would take. Yeah, but they left before us. They did. Yeah. Hey. But they got put in a longer lane. Oh, I know. Well, that's what I mean. We might be stuck here for hours. Ready for some hee haw, hee haw, hee haw. Right. What we need to do is find the site now. Search for sites, put the coordinates in. Okay. A bit more work to do now. Yeah. And we're off. So 
we've yeah. sussed that on the motorway. Well, I'll suss it in the tunnel. Yeah. I've got to get my blueberries out again. I've got loads of time for that. Train needs to 20 past, is it? Yeah, 20 minutes before it goes. Okay, I'll and get the spots we're in. I'll get the blueberries to do first. So close. And he stopped us. <laughs> Not been allowed on, Dave. This is it. This is as far as we get. Is there any more space? We we'll have to turn around and go back home. I'm thinking, shit, there's a lot more vehicles. Oh. I suppose, do they have to make sure there's room before the door's closed? Okay. Here we go. Going on. Ooh. Going down. This is our little tin can <laughs> to go under all that water. Now we're off, girls. You see how close we are to the curb? Look, you need to look in your mirror. In the mirror, where the back wheels are. Oh, so yeah, about inches. three inches either side. <gasps> okay, the train's set off. It's a weird feeling sitting in your vehicle, being rocked without the vehicle moving. We've got no rattles though. <laughs> <laughs> well, I should tell Alan that. Yeah, fuel economy is amazing. <laughs> <sighs> so this is our little tin pot for the duration. Tin pot, tin can. Tin can. Nothing to see, it's dark. I've got no service, so I can't see me going underwater. That would have been quite cool. Dog seem happy though. Dog seem happy. Oh, they're both fast asleep. Got up too early, that's what it was. Oh, it's been about 20, 25 minutes max, and there's daylight. Mm, I'm still eating my breakfast. Come on, driver, stop slacking in the back. <laughs> <laughs> the eagle has landed. <laughs> We've stopped. We'll be disembarking sometime soon on hoax. 
Doors are going up. The guys come to check everything. Oh, the doors, ooh. That E breathes deeply then. Just got to wait for the long procession out here. Someone getting out of their van there. Maybe not. Start them engines, and we're off. Although somebody's asleep, so. Oh, he's finally woken up. Here we go. Ticket. What does that mean? We have 
no idea what it means. Your ticket, all tickets delivered at the station of entry. So this is the start of it. Uh, yeah. yeah. So and then you put it in when you leave. You what? You put it in when you leave. That's right. my translation, rough translation of French. Who knows? Quite the weather we were hoping for. Welcome to France. Welcome to reality. <laughs> Again. tonight is right by the river Sien. That's Sien. Literally right on the river. Five euros a night. And we have a walk along the river now. This time dogs have managed to have a wee since getting off the tunnel. On the tunnel. Since leaving the site. It's about five this morning, bless them. At least it stopped raining. Ooh, the Very nice too. So this is the air in Ruin, Rowan? No, it's outside of Ruin. Where? It's on the south side. On the large. Pont de large. The large. Yep, yeah. and uh, we're by the river in a really good spot. And uh, we came in on this bridge. Satnav tried to take us right at the end of the bridge, but there's um, no entry sign. Good job we Googled it before. We're heading up towards the church. The old buildings there. Is it a cathedral? Mm -hmm. It could well be a cathedral. Got lots of gargoyles. Oh no, that's cool, isn't it?
like to be in France, don't they? Yeah, we're in France. Wow. It's warmed up a lot. Very humid. Usually taking a piss, but that's what I film was on. Yeah, now I'm thinking of going commando. It's oh, too much info. Let's move on. Sat for our first refreshment in Pont de Large. Fina, Fina. It wasn't large. No. I said that in Barcelona, Dave. I think it was like 40 euros for our food. No, I didn't actually. I didn't see the alcohol. Bit. things to say before we wrap it up um, first we both changed our mobile phone providers before we set off and because we hadn't notified them we were going to Europe none of them worked which was a big big mistake because we had no internet or data for a couple of days and that was a bit of a disaster so if you're new to going to Europe or you've just changed providers make sure you change tell them you're going to Europe before you leave and then everything be fine um, secondly, luckily we'd already put the um, sat-nav coordinates in for the site that we'd pre-planned and it's the only one we have pre-planned um, so we knew where we were going and Dave had uh, googled earth how to get there um, because there are some low bridges around Rouen and we were being overly cautious that we didn't get stuck there and because we didn't have our mobile phones data running we were kind of stuffed without it so a good tip is to probably pre uh, not book it but um what can we say <gasps> what's the word i'm looking for preempt where you're going to spend your first night and know how to get there and it makes it a bit easier in case something goes awry goes wrong even uh, and finally, you will need your anti-COVID pass to anti-COVID, I think it's called, for the French pass sanitaire, which you will be asked for at the time you go into campsites, bars, restaurants, museums, tourist attractions, etc. Uh, so make sure you download it because that makes it easy. And last days, um, I'll wrap it up there. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe and comment. And we'll see you next time as we head further south in France.